21 in the Colorado Springs Independent are teaming up once again for this year's Give Campaign. We are highlighting local organizations that need your help. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at the Coalition for the Upper South Platte. It's a nonprofit watershed group that's working on river restoration and fire recovery after the largest fire in Colorado history destroyed nearly 140,000 acres. Fox 21 Shade Malloy has more. Shade? The Coalition for the Upper South Platte has been working on the rest on restoring the ecosystem destroyed in the Hayman Fire since 2002. And while there's a long list of environmental projects, one of their biggest priorities is nearing completion. Nearly 10 years after the Hayman Fire, charred, brittle, dead trees lay as a reminder of the work that needs to be done to this fire-ravaged ecosystem. When we first came down here, the road and the river were just sort of becoming one. You couldn't drive through here anymore. There was very little vegetation left. The Coalition for the Upper South Platte, along with their thousands of volunteers and the U.S. Forest Service, has spent the last decade trying to restore Trail Creek, control erosion, and connect it to the floodplain. What's going to happen is, is that's going to be our new stream bank up there, and we're going to elevate the stream right here and utilize that as a solid stream bank. This river restoration is one of their biggest projects yet and a top priority for the organization because it's at the heart of a major erosion problem and a remnant of the Hayman fire. And while it's easy to see the damage done to the trees, what's a little harder to see is the impact the fire has had on the creek. With the lack of trees to stabilize the ground, sediment like this is getting pushed from here to the reservoir and to our drinking water. So the organization is using large trees and rocks to stabilize the highly erosive soil. They They've also built a sediment control structure for another nearby creek to help keep the water clear. During the warm weather before the cold. And countless hours of hard work and dedication have solved an environmental problem that was only going to get worse. I've been told it would have taken Mother Nature about 80 years to get the flood flow regime and stream back to a normal system, but thanks to all the work, it should be back to normal in the next few years. And if you would like to give to the campaign, you can do so by going to our website, coloradoconnection.com, and clicking on the Give logo, you will find it at the top of our homepage.